Hi there, I'm Duncan Scobie. Uh, I am a professional, semi-professional photographer. People buy my pictures, I go and do jobs for them, photography jobs. I'm also a professional drone pilot here in the UK. And I am an osteopath. That's why I sort of say semi-professional photographer. I don't do it full time, just four days a week. Um, so I've been looking for the ultimate uh, camera bag. You might have seen some of my videos on that. I've done reviews and others. Uh, I I've come to the conclusion there is no ultimate camera bag. You, I think you just need different bags for different jobs, which is great for us gadget hunting uh, photographers. We usually like to uh, have a new kit every so often. So I've come across this. This is the F-Stop Tilopa. Um, it's quite difficult to get a feel of bags just by going on the internet, which is sort of really the easiest way currently during lockdown um, here in the UK. Um, does unfortunately mean that uh, some of the camera shops that are online have uh, had to receive my goods back uh, because they haven't uh, fit the bill. Um, and you can only tell once you receive them, unfortunately. Um, but then hopefully these sort of videos can help. So this is the Tilopa. It's a 50 litre metal framed uh, backpack. It's Even though it's got a metal frame, it's, for, it's relatively light, I would say. Um, extremely comfortable. As I said just now, I'm also an osteopath. And I would highly recommend this for your back. Very, uh, very comfortable fit. I think also what you get, I mean, I, I kind of don't need a 50 litre. Uh, occasionally I will, but most of the time I won't. But you certainly get a better shaped rucksack, a bigger rucksack. I mean, I'm a big chap, six foot tall. Uh, and the uh, having your little average camera bag on your back kind of makes you look like a, an obese ninja turtle. Um, doesn't look right and it doesn't actually fit right either it just sits like a lump on your back whilst this sort of actually becomes more one of one with you and molds a bit better uh, having that longer back on it makes it fit better this has very good waist straps and uh, having the weight of the bag go through your pelvis through your inanimate bones of your pelvis is a very handy thing so that you don't irritate the lower sort of lumbar part of your spine uh, where most problems uh, occur you issues with discs issues with facet joints so anyway the tilopa here is full of compartments full of zipped areas um the side um zipped areas a little bit disappointing it doesn't have your standard uh pockets that you just slide a thermos which is what i like when doing night photography or your water bottle um it has instead these long zipped areas so i've got one side that has uh, the um, waterproof cover in it and then the other side you just have to unzip the whole thing and just and just pull out your water bottle like that and uh, and um, just have it drink it um, quickly um, so long zip side pockets um, at the front uh, is a little small zipped area which is ideal for your iPad if I can find where the there's lots of toggles and flaps and things, which some people might find annoying, but others find it will make it adjustable for all your needs. So a pocket there for your uh, iPad, and there's a Velcro area if you want more protection still there. Um, zip that up. I tend to have a uh, three-legged thing tool. They're great. They're not that expensive. Uh, in fact, look at that. Actually, I don't know why I've bothered with that. Um, I've got a sort of retractable cord on it, but actually it's, you can just clip it directly on um if you want uh not to hassle with that so three-legged thing tool not sponsored actually i'm not sponsored by anyone at all no one's ever given me anything like that uh they should do i do fantastic videos if i say so and my mum says so she doesn't actually she's riddled with dementia so she knows nothing um so what else do we have we have um do we have another zipped area i thought we did but i don't think we do um in the top let's go to the top now so i will you have the main entrance into the uh the top of the bag there which is zipped and there's uh a meshed area with a zip on it there for batteries and cables and and the like there's also deep inside um coming let's see if i sit down hopefully the camera. right i'm filming this with uh the new uh, rs2 dji rs2 it's quite good, but I think the movements are a bit jerky, look. But that's probably just in the settings and it's new and I haven't fiddled with the settings yet. 
So um, a, um, a padded area for a laptop, I would imagine at least a 15 inch laptop can go in there, it's very large. And then what you can see deep in here is uh, what f-stop call ICU. So I think it's an internal compartment unit maybe. Uh, all different sizes, extra large all the way down to tiny. Um, and uh, basically you Velcro them in, you can take them out, exchange them depending on how much camera equipment. They're expensive, I will say that. Luckily I bought this bag on eBay, I think it was a return uh, to a shop and it wasn't quite in the sort of bagged condition that they could resell it with. So I got it for a bargain. The person selling it thought it was a different, lesser model. They also thought it had a medium ICU when it was a large. So all in all, I had a bit of a bargain. So top entry, that's where the ICU goes in when you're replacing it. It has to go in the top because the metal frame makes it difficult to go in any other way. So you've got that zipped entrance there. The material is all waterproof and there are flaps and things over the zips. But personally, I wouldn't trust that. So you arrive bought, which you have to buy separately. Again, it's quite expensive is a rain cover, it's about 20 quid for a rain cover. Uh, but when it's lashing down and you've got uh, electrical equipment, lithium batteries and stuff like that, and I don't want water to ingress into the, um, into the inside of the bag. Uh, so uh, in the top also is another zipped area with uh, special waterproof zips. So there's two more meshed compartments, take that out there, two meshed uh, compartments in there for, um, storing equipment so lots of places to store stuff there's a there's a little orifice on the side there for your water uh tube to come out from uh, the container i suppose you could put your your uh camel um, style water pouch in the laptop area i mean i'm not quite sure why anyone would go hiking with a laptop but uh um so you could maybe replace uh that space with a water bottle um, the shoulder pads, again, as an osteopath, I can highly recommend these. Very well-made, strong, padded, broad, shaped, all these things. Nice D-rings, something that from my diving days used to be important. So you can, lots of attachments on that. There's a strange little soft pouch you could maybe put a couple mint imperials into if you fancied. Uh, the shoulder straps are adjustable, so depending on the length of your back and how high up you want the bag to sit, you can adjust that. Um, now, the main entrance into the, um, into the backpack is uh, through a rear entrance at the back. Let's open that up. I do have equipment in this, so I don't care if it doesn't fall out. So, that drops down like that. If I move that out of the way. Um, you have uh, on the inner flap here um, another zipped area that's got an L-shaped zipped, again, batteries and things. And then you've got these, uh, these fabric uh, loops uh, going across four of them. And at first I thought maybe that's for attaching things onto, but no, I think it's actually must be for uh, the props for your drone, I would suggest is what that's for. And I'd, I would imagine this would take a Phantom 4 quite comfortably. Maybe the Phantom 5, if ever it comes out. Um, it should do. It's a, very, it's a very good drone, the 4, and it... Uh, uh, and it has aspects that the smaller folding ones uh, are not any good at. Um, so the ICU has its own zip. I probably will keep it unzipped myself just because it's a pain to go through two sets of zip zips. Uh, so that is your ICU. That's the large, lots of compartments. Got a Canon R5 in there at the moment. Uh, I've got, how many lenses? I've got three lenses in there at the minute. Uh, I've got things like the the attachment for my uh, 7300 there. Um, I've got uh, covers for my uh, L filter, sorry, my leaf filters there. Um, it's a tons of space. I've got loads of space I could fill up there. Um, the top compartment here, you can access, there's a little bit of space if you want to go in there, but ideal for my bag of leaf filters, ideal to put my Mavic 2 and some batteries controller. Uh, so really I can get, even though, I mean, the nice thing about a small bag is that you um, don't, you know, it forces you to think light and not overdo things, but then you just don't have things that you need. So this gives you scope. You, you know, you don't have to fill it. You can just walk around with it half full. Uh, but then equally, I could stuff a puffer jacket into it or a, a ground sheet if I don't, you know, if I want to lie down or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it just gives you options, okay? Um, so I think that's about all I need to tell you about it. So um, 
the pelvic straps, as I say, the waistband straps are very good. Um, as I, yeah, I've talked about that, haven't I? Was that on the previous recording? So there you go. I'm going to leave it there. There's lots of, there's compression straps on the side to make it small if you're not using all the space. They also double as up as areas that you can uh, attach things onto, coats and uh, uh, walking poles, that kind of jazz. Uh, chest straps, adjustable chest strap, which is, uh, makes it um, the bag more you know, part of you and sort of being one with you. Um, so there you go, uh, the F-Stop Telopa, fantastic bag. Uh, this is gonna be a keeper for me, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. As everyone says, please subscribe. It helps me if you subscribe. And then you can watch my videos I do on sort of drone footage, uh, equipment reviews, that kind of jazz. If you're um, interested in anything that I touch on and you want more detail, just let me know and I can do that for you. Uh, Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on uh, another video. Right, and that is a take. Well done, everyone. Well done, Barbara. Well done, Mary. And very well done. Uh, Ruth, thank you for uh, being there uh, for me when I need you. And uh, I'd like to thank God also. He had a lot to do with making of this video. Um, I'd like to thank my stunt double, Brandon. Uh, he didn't need to stand in Hi. No? What do they have? Um, mushroom, mascarpone, and spicy chicken and child filled red pepper. Okay, I don't like the mask penny, but it'll be alright. I will tolerate it. Oh, okay. It's alright, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I can't taste it anyway. You can't taste? No.